previously. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Knight, and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. I am really enjoying this game, um, despite the fact that I'm actually not that smart as I thought I was. But yeah, let's, let's play the game. Having finally returned to Reinhold Manor with Claudia and Tor, Layton and Luke are horrified to discover that a murder has taken place during their absence. Waiting for Luke and Layton at the manor is Police Detective Inspector Shelmy. Upon receiving a report on the murder, he raced to St. Miss Mystere to conduct an investigation. He has uh, his suspicions about Luke and Layton. Shortly after the murder, a servant to the Reinhold family named Raymond goes missing. At Lady Dahlia's request, Luke and the professor set out to gather information on his whereabouts. Oh yeah, it was here. I was going to talk to the little girl. Right? I want to see what's over here first, though. Getting right back into it. Look, Professor, there's a puzzle hidden here. This is the weirdest fucking town. <coughs> a worm's dream. If you insist. The worm's life dream is to make it to the center of the apple. Complete this slide puzzle and help him realize his dream. With only eight pieces to manage, this task might seem easy, but it's probably harder than you su expect. I am actually really bad about at sliding puzzles, so we'll see how well this goes. Let's go here. Oh, hello. Uh, Mm, I hate sliding puzzles. <sighs> yeah, shut up. I don't care. Yeah, fuck you. I'm terrible at sliding puzzles. I really am. Oh. 
Thanks. All right. Are you Lucy? What you doing? I can tell you want to ask me something, but would you mind solving my puzzle first? My little brother and I came up with this one together. My boy and his big sister are sitting around the kitchen table chatting. You know, sis, if I took away two years from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age, huh? Well, then why don't you give me one more on top of that? I'll, then I'll be three times your age. How old is each sibling? Uh, fuck. Okay. So... Six and eight. Because if... Or six and seven. Because if he is six, then he takes away two years and doesn't to her. No, that makes it nine. They're both six. Because take away two from six, that's four. Give two to six, that's eight. Yeah, they're both six. They're twins. Oops. That should do it. Critical thinking is the key to success. That's right, the conditions of the puzzle only work if out if both the brother and sister are currently six. The two siblings must have been born within a year of each other. Or they're twins and one's just a little bit older. Whatever. Is that too easy for you? Oh well. Hey, you know the guy for the mansion, Raymond? He may look sedate, but boy, does he like the nightlife. His buddies, uh, he's buddies with the party animal, Jarvis. Jarvis? I don't believe I know the man. Where might we find him? Well, you see, Jarvis isn't the type to place much value in being gainfully employed. At this time of day, he's probably lazing around about one of those steps to the north. Just head up north until you hit a fork in the road and take the path to the right. Okay, I have to go now. Let's play again later. Okay. Before I do that, let's look at my gizmos. Oh, there's so many things here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Journal. Beyond the clock tower. A large gate bars the way through the base of the clock tower. In order to investigate the north side of the village, it is imperative that we make our way through the gate. But how do we get through? Positively gargantuan gentleman named Deke stands in front of the clock tower gate and has refused to let us through until we've solved 12 puzzles. That's easy enough, but it is a bit odd. Everyone in this village seems to have a curiously strong affinity for puzzles. We finally succeeded in passing through the gate and have made our way to the north side of town. The roads here are winding and narrow. Surely one of these people knows something of Raymond's whereabouts. I'll be sure to ask around. Cool. Um, is there something I missed here? Oh, the murder. Upon our return to Reinhold Manor, we were greeted with the awful news of Simon's murder. Seeing Lady Dahlia's distress, I've agreed to search the village for her missing servant. The inspector investigating the murder seems to suspect I had something to do with it. I mean, did you? I know you didn't, but... Okay. Ooh. Painting! Do I have more scraps? I have two corners still. Baron Reinhold's late wife Violet is pictured cradling a baby in a, in a photograph on Lady Dahlia's desk. While the two women seem to be complete strangers to each other, their resemblance to each other is too uncanny to be chance. What's really going on here? Okay, cool. I guess we're going this way. Wait, can I? Is there any more hint coins? Nope, okay. He wants me to go right, but I want to talk to everybody else first. Oh dear, your fortune for this month looks abysmal. I recommend solving my puzzles if you want to avoid this terrible, but terrible, potentially gory fate. Oh my. Okay. That's what it takes. One line puzzle, too. They did have one line puzzles. Yeah, okay.
Oops. Alright, let's do this. I don't think you can draw the hat. How does this sound? I did it! Yes! Nicely done. Well, when examining a picture like this, the key to spotting a fake is looking at the areas where multiple lines intersect. When looking at these areas, take note of whether the number of lines running through a given point are odd or even. If all intersections contain an even number of lines, or there are two intersections that contain an odd number of lines, you should be able to draw the picture in one line. Really? Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I never considered that. Good to know. Hi, that was quick. Were you that scared of, the, uh, of a month's worth of bad luck? Well, I'm sorry to say there's nothing you can do to change fate. You'll just have to tough it out. I don't know. Do you have another puzzle for me? I hope you don't mind if I call you, uh, if I call on you the next time I come up against a stubborn puzzle. I guess not. Hello. What's this? Yes, it's just as I suspected. I can tell from here, sir. You have something you want to ask me now? Don't even try to hide it, sir. It's in your eyes. And ask you may after you solve a puzzle for me. Okay. Hello, oh, brother. Oh, brother. Here is an overhead view of a cluster of tropical islands. As you travel from start to goal, your objective is to visit every island exactly one time. The island folks say this can be accomplished with the addition of a single straight bridge. The only other rule is that your bridge can't cross over any pre-existing bridge. So where should the bridge go? It needs to go here. So if I do this. Yeah, because then I come back to that island. But if I go this way, I'm going to draw a bridge there. Then I can go here and then around here. Here's my answer. Another puzzle solved. Are there multiple answers? That's right. Now get out there and enjoy that island paradise. Thank you. Just as I suspected, a fellow detective. Your skills at puzzle solving are formidable, sir. Dare I say they approach my own? It's in the eyes they say. They never lie. When they do, I do. Okay. Ooh, good to know. Um, can I ask you a question now? Have you seen Raymond anywhere? I'll be here at the cafe tonight. Perhaps you'll join me for a bit of shop talk. Okay. I know I need to go right to find the other guy, so I'm gonna go left. Let me in here, would you? I'd like your expert opinion on this puzzle. It won't take but a minute. Well, I guess. I mean, what else am I gonna do? How old is Dad? A father and son are chatting when the son poses this question. Dad, I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? The father replies, you want to know how old your old man is? Well, hmm, I'll tell you what. I'm as old as your age, plus half my age. Thirty-three? No, that doesn't make sense. Something. 36? 22 plus. Uh, no, 
fifth path to the six is 18. That won't work. 34, that would be 12. Twenty two plus fifteen is thirty seven. That shouldn't have half. That wouldn't be half, anyways. If he's forty four, and half his age would be twenty two. So twenty two plus twenty two, he's forty four. Should do it. Another puzzle solved. That's right. Half of the father's age plus the son's age should give you the answer, which means that half the father's age must be equal to the son's age. The son is 22, so the father must be 44. Because it would have to be half. Mm -hmm. I guess I was on the right track all along. Thanks for your help, boys. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Good day. Cool. Awesome. Can I talk to you again? Will you give me another puzzle? Oh, hello again. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. Do you have any pick rats laying around? Yay. What about here? Oh, no. Nope. I don't want to talk to you again. I'm sorry. Okay, I can't click the pot of plant. go this way. If I go this way, am I just back at the... Oh. And then also did not look for any pick rats here. Or, um, not pick rats, uh, hint coins. Hey, bush. Awesome. What about up here? No? Okay. Guess I'll talk to you. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Say, Sunny, you haven't seen a big coin around here, have you? I could have sworn I dropped a lovely one somewhere nearby. See, I always seem to be losing things nowadays. Replacing them gets mighty expensive. I've become quite a penny pincher. Don't suppose you might advise me on the tiny money matter, would you? Spare change. Okay, I need to clean my glasses for this one because I can't see a damn thing. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Lovely. Our open coins are arranged as shown below. What the hell? As you pull the ends of the rope out to left and right, the rope will draw taut and push the coins to either side. Assuming you only get to keep the coins that end up on the top half of the rope, how many coins will you have? This one. This one. This one.
think that's all. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hope. Luke, here's my answer. I probably missed one. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Okay. Looking this way. Look this way. Okay. This one. Oh. So here. Looking that way. Looking that way. That way. This one. This one. This one. Looking that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Am I missing one? Okay. This one for sure. This one for sure. Oh, nine. I missed one. No, not four. There we go. Nine, ah, you stupid I machine. Suppose I have thought long. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Thank you. 
Right. There we go. <sighs> I was one short. Another Whatever. puzzle solved. Hmm. Okay. I found a hint coin. Is that what you're asking about? Whoa, where'd he go? Is that the coin? Found it. No? Okay. <clears throat> so many hit coins. Try not to click on him just yet. I want to see if I can find more hit coins. Hmm, hiccups. Alright, I'll talk to you. It's fine. Are you, uh, yep, you're Jarvis. Let me tell you, lately, sir. Saint Mystery has become a dangerous place. Mystery, sorry. Case in point, I haven't seen Raymond since yesterday. Is that rascal missing or something? I don't know why people are disappearing, but recently they just vanished. Poof! You can't walk the streets alone. Really? Could you please elaborate a bit more on what you know of these mysterious disappearances? Nope, can't say any other particulars of the subject. It seems to me that the only folks vanishing were the ones complaining of feeling sick or tired. Oh, shucks. I, I don't really uh, remember much about it. Probably better have better luck talking with Zipone about stuff like that. Carrie's in the know about pretty much everything. Zipone, you say? Where might we find this person? Who's a what's that? You mean he didn't bump into him on the way here? He's the slodger guy with that fancy little mustache. You'll know him when you see him. Wow, it sure is hard to catch a lead on this case. The day is far from over, Luke. Let's see what else we can find out by asking around. Village disappearances is an added to your list of mysteries. Do you have a puzzle for me? Nope, can't say another particulars on the subject. Okay. No, no puzzle? Alright. Hey, Zippone. Oh, you're Gerard. Oh, let me bug you for a minute there, Sunny. I'm all turned around on this issue. I need some help. Leveled head. Leveled level head? Whatever. See, it all started a while back when I was on vacation and bought this camera case. I think that sneaky cell clerk would swindle me out of a few dollars. Camera and the case. Okay. While walking through a market on vacation, he noticed a small stand selling cameras. A camera and case set selling for $310. The seller tells you the camera costs $300 more than the case itself and that the case costs the price of the set minus the cost of the camera. He decided he'd rather wait on buying a camera and opt to just buy the case alone. You hand the seller $100 and his eyes light up. Think fast now. How much change should you be getting back? You should be getting back $90. So if the camera costs $300 more than the case, then that means it's $10. Should be getting back ninety dollars. Sounds really easy. <coughs> the extra words are just to confuse there we you. Go. Oh, how embarrassing! Okay, so the set is selling for 310. The case costs the price of the set minus the camera. If the camera costs 300 more than the case, and if then the case should be $10, which you should be getting back 90. Am I wrong? Mm. 
So... I get it. Camera costs 300 more than the case. So, if the case is $10, that means that it's the camera itself is 310. And the case camera is $20 or okay the case is $20 that means that the camera is 320 doesn't make any sense so why would it be less okay that doesn't make sense So, if it was, um, I just got to be able to do this math. Okay. So, if the case was $10, the camera would have to be 310 Case was five dollars. That means it would be three hundred and five. You should be getting ninety five dollars back. The case itself is just five dollars. That should do it. Another puzzle solved. Good thinking. That merchant had an awfully misleading way of explaining things, didn't he? Make sure you don't get duped by some swindler next time you go out shopping. The nerve of that sneak. And I thought I was getting the deal of the century. Sure makes a fellow sad to think that people can be so dishonest. Hey, I don't suppose you're, uh, Jarvis. Or not Jarvis. Um, Sapone. What has this world come to? Are you Zapone? You are looking into the mysterious disappearances around the village, are you? Well, let me give you my take on the situation. Well, um, hmm. is something the matter? Uh, yes, now I remember. If it's rumors you're after, take a tip from a fellow detective and go ask Crouton. He owns the restaurant in town. Okay. After talking with that boisterous fellow, Jarvis, we learned that a man by the name of Zippo may have some information for us. He's apparently hanging out by the area right past the gate where the road forts. After talking to Zippo, one thing is for certain. The man certainly has a talent for, surround for sounding like he has valuable information, which is to say he didn't know much of anything. Oh well, at least he let us know we should seek out Crouton, the owner of the restaurant down by the park, for more information. I got new gizmos. We've almost got a dog. What the hell is this picture? Rumor has it that number has it a number of villagers have disappeared recently. Oddly enough, those who disappear or are abducted, as many suggest, often do so after complaining of general fatigue or other minor health issues. Mm, concerning. Do you have another puzzle for me? Nope. Okay. Is it this guy over here, or is it the guy back with the milk jugs? Are you Crouton? Hmm. Nope, you're Archibald. I tried. Do you have another puzzle for me? Making sure no one has puzzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know anything, I got it. Do you have another puzzle for me? No? And you're good too, right? No puzzles here? Oh, it's just the same thing again. Okay. Lucy, are you back here? No? Okay. You're looking for the restaurant now. It's not far. Just uh, head a little to the west of here. 
but before you run off, I've got a tip for you. If you want to experience all that St. Mystery has to offer, you can't just run from point A to point B. Take some time to explore the city from corner to corner. You'll be glad you did. Much appreciated. We'll be sure to give that a try. Come on, Luke. We've work to do. Do you have another puzzle for me? I'm here for puzzles. The muse paid me a visit just now. I'm thinking about making my next book an epic adventure. Picture this. A world-famous archaeologist races the clock to in a secret society to recover a jewel of immense value. In doing so, he must travel deep within a sinister tower on the edge of town. Where did these ideas come from? Honestly, sometimes my own brilliance frightens me. Is something hidden in the tower here in St. Mystery? Oh, no, no. There's nothing there whatsoever. I'm just using an age-old writer's technique of taking inspiration from my surroundings. That tower is intriguing, though. Still, it's best to keep your distance. I've never heard anything but bad rumors about the place. Do you have a thing for me or not? Uh, sounds like Indiana Jones in a curious village. Do you have a quest for me? No? Okay. I'm gonna go... Oh, I guess in here. Hi. I'm a man who likes his templates and forms, and you're a man who likes stamps, yes? I thought so. I have just the puzzle for a man like yourself, then. I strongly advise you make yourself useful and solve this puzzle without bothering me about it. It's just rude. Stamp stumper. Stumper. Your friend just got back from the post office where she purchased a sheet of stamps with values ranging from 10 cents to a dollar. First, your friend cut out the dollar stamps and set it aside, and she divided the remaining stamps into uniquely shaped bunches, each with a total value of a dollar. Can you divide the sheet of stamps the same way your friend did? <laughs> I mean, yeah, so I need 60. Do I need to cut it a certain way? Hmm, okay, so 20, that's 40, that's 50, 50, 80, so, no, how does this end up by itself? Um, so 20, 10, 20 is 50. 30 and 10 is 40, 40 and that's 70, 70, what about this 20 then, 30 and 10, oh, 40, 40 and 20, I accidentally cut this in half, okay, there we go, there we go. simple math. What? Frankly, I'm ashamed. Oh.
Fuck my life. Okay. Let's divide it the way I had it, and then we'll see if we can move things. see anything similar. Let's try it. There we go. Oh, thank God. Every puzzle has an answer. All right, awesome. Hmm. Hold on, there are several ways to divide all the stamps into adult groups, but this is the only way where all the groups form different shapes. Awesome. I knew a stamp aficionado like you aficionado like you could handle this. Now I can finally mail those documents. I strongly advise that you clear the office and let me return to my business. Screw you too. 
talk to me again. The life of a bureaucrat is extremely busy. Unless you, unless you have an issue to address and the proper forms, I strongly advise that you both of you leave. That's just me. Hateful person. Let's go talk to the lady in the inn. Hello. Do you have another puzzle for me? Ready to try another puzzle? Oh, nothing gets my heart racing like a passionate man. Unfortunately, I don't have any good puzzles right now, but do check back later. Ah, uh, that's fair. I thought she would have another puzzle for me, but I guess not. Anybody out here? Yep, okay. Yep. Awesome. Let's go back. <sighs> I don't think anybody else is this way, is there? Like, I know where I'm supposed to go, but, like, I want to talk to everybody. I don't know anything, you hear me? No, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go. If I miss one puzzle, I'm not gonna die. Do you have a puzzle for me yet? Nope. Do you have another puzzle for me? Let's... Uh, okay. I know I need to go in there, but I'm gonna see what's up here. Nothing else? Okay. Back down then, I guess. And in here. Do you have another puzzle for me? Okay. Are you Crouton? Can I name this Crouton, by the way? Raymond? He hasn't been around here all day. Looks like we've hit another dead end. Too bad he couldn't find him. He usually skips out of work and comes here to gossip and have coffee. And you know, speaking of gossip, I've heard some weird rumors from my customers lately. Recently, there's been talk of some strange old man running around Saint Mystery kidnapping people. A kidnapper? Who is this old man? I heard all this secondhand, so you got me there. You need to find a better source for village gossip. You might want to try to look at the cafe. Usually, you hear rumors straight from the source there. It's almost sunset now, so the cafe should be open for dinner. Mysterious old man kidnapping village folk. Now that's a rumor. Yay! Chapter 3. Solved. Cohen and Saint Mystery for clues about Raymond's disappearance. Aw, I missed one. Professor, it's getting dark out. I'm afraid that's my cue to start closing up shop. Come by tomorrow if you get hungry. Oh. I'm glad to take a moment. Oh, I just set up our findings. We have a strange roaring town, disappearing villagers, and old elderly kidnap an odd elderly kidnapper. It's also bizarre. I can't make sense of any it at all, Professor. I think we finally got some clues on our hands, my boy. Observing the nightlife in this village might tell us more of what we need to know. Great idea, Professor. Night falls. It's turned dark and Raymond still hasn't returned. Continue the investigation to find clues. Save your progress? Yes, please. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. Um, alright. So, I think this is a good place to stop. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Clear night signing out. Goodbye.